evening and welcome to your Thursday night broadcast of UATV. I'm Kaylin Jackson. And I'm Jack Bilyeu. Thanks for joining us. A 16-year-old student at Saugus High School opened fire earlier this morning in Santa Clarita, California. At least two students have been confirmed dead with others injured and in critical condition at local hospitals. One student who was inside during the shooting describes the scene she witnessed. Students looking for extra energy after fall break might settle for a cup of coffee, while others prefer energy drinks. Research shows though these drinks can get you through the day, they could also affect your health. UATV's Mo Ellis joins us live with more. Many students head home over fall break and UAPD offers advice to those traveling. UAPD says students should check their vehicle before heading out. Make sure to plan ahead before leaving. UAPD will also look at any student's car to make sure everything is all right. Turns fees into food for those who need it. The annual Food for Fees event allows locals to pay off late fees by donating canned or box food. The library asks for peanut butter, tuna, and soup. The event will run through Sunday. For students who don't know where to move their car before game days, know that any U of A permit works in Lot 99. That parking area can hold up to 1,100 vehicles. A bus stop can also be found there, which can help students get around campus. Students from around the world get a chance to share their cultures for International Education Week. Yesterday afternoon, Nepalese students held a ceremony to honor mankind's best and oldest friend. UATV's Catherine McCarley has more on how the University of Arkansas celebrated the Day of the Dog. <laughs> 